good afternoon and welcome back to the channel so the song that came to me for this video is one that it's one of my favorites patty labelle if you don't know me by now <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting to see who this reading is for definitely a song that i resonate with strongly all right spirit who is this message for may i see please What? Just them or everybody and them? All right, Sagittarius, it's for you, baby. All right, Spirit, talk to me, Spirit, for Sagittarius. Oh, God of heaven and earth, it is good to sing your praises and to bless your holy name always. You do great things for us, and the whole earth is full of your glory. To you be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus for endless ages. Amen. If you're not familiar with that Patti LaBelle song, you should listen to the words. Um, it's basically about trust issues. You know, it's like, if you don't know me by now, you're never going to know me. And it's about not not arguing and fighting and just, you know, you got to have trust. You have to be able to trust somebody to love them, whatever kind of way you love them, okay? That, one, that song is about a romantic love, though. And it's about a romantic love that's been around for a while, too. It's not anything um, brand new. It could be like a recommitted love, but it's somebody you've known for a while is what I'm getting the feel of. Alright, so let's see what virtues are going on here with Sagittarius today. So you're dealing with somebody you have trust issues with or you have had. Humility is here. Faith is here. But somehow you're having a test of faith. <laughs> Compassion is here and content. Being content. Somebody's having to be obedient and we have courage. A lot, uh, uh, again today, a lot going on in your life, Sagittarius. I can see why you need a reading every day. Really, just for encouragement, if nothing else. Because you've not been through something, baby. You had to learn a lesson. It's tested your faith. But it's taught you to have compassion. And it's also, it's helping you to be content and to have courage. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. How are you working in the sign of Sagittarius today, Spirit? May we see. What are you doing in Sagittarius' life today, Holy Spirit? What you got going on with us? What do we got going on here? May I see, please? Give strong answers only from the universe. For the sign of Sagittarius. If you, know, if you know any Sagittarius and you're dealing with any, uh, you know how passionate and how um, being content is hard for a Sagittarius because they like to always be on the move. And okay, that's what we got. That's what we got. Oh, we got an empress on the bottom of the deck in the upright. We got some real strong desire here. The devil. We got Capricorn in the house. We got Taurus in the house. And we have Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So we got Capricorn here twice. You probably have a Capricorn placement or two. <clears throat> or somebody you're working with here does. But there's a strong desire. I'm not going to call this devil anything yet because it's about something ending is what it looks like to me. It's like this strong desire for something to be over is what I'm seeing. Somebody has a strong desire for something to be over. All right. Let's see how this happened to you, Sagittarius. May I see how this happened to Sagittarius, please? How are you? We haven't talked in forever, and I hate you. F you, fuck you. You remember the arguing and fighting I was talking about a while ago? 
you might have quit talking to this person because of arguing and fighting. All right, how did this happen to Sagittarius spirit? You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> I can't make this up. <laughs> Alright, what's being hidden? It's late, really late. Why aren't you here next to me? So, secretly you want somebody to be next to you, but they're a fucking asshole. Well, and what's being shown? I just want honesty. Why do you insist on lying to me? If you don't know me by now, <laughs> you will never, never, never know me. All right, what's going to happen next? <laughs> so you think this person's lying to you. I can't stand you. You drive me crazy. What the fuck did I get myself into? I hate you. F you. Fuck you. Oh, Sagittarius. What the hell is really going on, baby? I'm going to just go ahead and say right now, get away from this person. If this is the kind of shit you got going on at home, might be time to have an exit strategy. Lordy Jesus. Wow, Sagittarius. Wow. Show me more about how this happens, spirit. Somebody's still waiting, and your friends miss your face. <coughs> so... Your friends missed your face, and they were still waiting. That's how this happens. All right, what's being hidden? Fuck your job. Spend time with somebody. And interrupting is for assholes. So secretly, interrupting is for assholes. Fuck your job and spend time with Bay. <laughs> All right, so interrupting is for assholes. Let them finish. Fuck your job and spend time with them making art, love, or music. So, for some reason, you're telling somebody secretly, I don't give a shit about your job. I don't know what to make of that. All right, well, what's being shown? Somebody understands it, though. <laughs> Sit back and relax. And tantrums are for babies. <laughs> oh, wow. And what's going to happen next? Oh, that's a lot of cards, Spirit. I'm not going to take these. I'm going to turn these back over. But I am going to say that this is the top card that was turned over. Fucking say it. Resentment kills the magic. What's going to happen next is you're going to stop trying to control every damn thing. Let shit go and not be so extra. Oh, here's another card turned over. And somebody's going to be irritated. Somebody's going to get irritated here and stop trying to control everything. And fucking say it. Resentment kills the matter. It was like half of this deck was turned over. You're having an argument here, obviously. And it's because of a friend missing your face. And secretly, you don't care about this job or a job or somebody's job. You want to spend time with somebody. And somebody interrupts you and you can't finish your sentences, it looks like. And secretly, there's somebody who... Wants to know why you aren't there with them at night. And I just want honesty. Why do you insist on lying to me? Somebody feels like you're lying. But you're just going to sit back and relax and let this person throw a tantrum. Because you know that they need to grow the fuck up. And have sex. That's what's going to happen next. Wow. Maybe you're going to have makeup sex, or maybe you're going to have sex with whoever's over here waiting for you to come see them. Okay then, Sagittarius. Wow. All right, let's go a little deeper here. Let's find out what's untold here. There's something in, under this. What What's untold here, Spirit? Somebody has a secret, and it's a loss. And they have, they have support for their emotions. Somebody has been hiding the fact that they have lost something. That maybe it was a big support during a very emotional time. Alright? What's being hidden? That somebody got sidetracked. And they didn't really even know if they were wanting to do this. But it was because somebody was resisting letting this go. They were clinging, obsessing, holding on. 
They, somebody has, I'm sorry, somebody has consequences, not sidetrack. This is consequences. So what's being hidden is consequences and somebody being apprehensive about somebody who was being clinging. All right, what's being shown? Deja vu came out. Karmic lessons. What's going to happen next, spirit? Somebody's trapped. They're stuck, tied down, or captive. Only you is here, so you're by yourself, and there you are, Sagittarius, the Divine Feminine, on the bottom of the deck. All right, we're not going to go excessively long into this today, but we're going to find out where, where this is headed. Why is the devil here for Sagittarius? May we see why the devil is here. This is a desire for something to end. Why is the devil here? Look, the world is clarifying the devil because something here has to stop. You, you've come full circle with something in your life and you're sick of it. All right, why is the world here then? The world clarifying the world like this is over. This is over. You're done with this bullshit. The lovers came out. The Gemini's here. You're making a decision. What decision is Sagittarius making to say say what they mean, to tell the truth? The Ace of Swords is here. It's time for truth, for clarity, for, for a breakthrough. Because you're done. You're over this. All right, why is the Empress on the bottom of the deck? Because of an Ace of Pentacles. Wow, this is amazing. All right, so we have... A queen of wands here. This typically represents a Leo that it has a knight of cups attached to it. So it's like it's an older person with a younger one. See? This queen of wands here is probably it could be a Leo, but it could be any fire sign. Let's 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 say for example it's you. You're having you have a younger person in your life that was in love with you, but they are walking away, like they're they're riding away. And it's because it's time for you to start something new, an ace of pentacles. You might be moving out and living on your own somehow. Or you might be starting a new job. We have cancer on the bottom of the deck. The moon in reverse. So it's like there's a secret coming out somehow. <coughs> Excuse me. That's why the Empress is here. Why is this Queen of Wands and this Knight of Cups? Where is this Knight of Cups going? That could be this Queen of Wands moving with this love offer. Where is she going with this love? It's karma that's being cleaned up, Sagittarius. This is a, a relationship that's ending. This is what's ending up here, is this relationship right here. Why is it ending, Spirit? Can we see? Can we be nosy and see why it's ending? Because somebody's been hiding their feelings, keeping somebody waiting, and they've been juggling. They've had more than one option here, that they were hiding their feelings and keeping waiting. All right, how do they feel about this other option? Wow. Oh, wow. They feel like they've had a hard time letting this go because they're, I think, realizing the truth. We see this truth here. The truth is here also. That there was, a, they had a cold heart about this because they had not learned some lessons. They were not learning the lessons that needed to be learned. And this has been making everything, everyone unhappy in this situation. All right. How does Sagittarius feel about this person? There you come out, the Queen of Pentacles, baby. There you are. Huh. How do you feel about this? <laughs> you have felt trapped, but like you wanted to fight for this desperately. And could not. And there's the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Cutting at unawakened. So somebody was feeling trapped but wanted to fight for this. Why? They felt trapped because there was somebody else in the picture. And they weren't going to say anything. Well, I see what's happening here now. 
what what do we need to know about this you're about to have a very passionate something in an ace of pentacles too what do we need to know let's see where sagittarius is out here where is sagittarius out here recognition and regret about the answer being yes Somebody is recognizing regret about some answer being yes. All right, where is their person spirit? Where is their person spirit? Somebody has brown hair, and I see somebody with shoulder length black hair. Look, there's your person right there, Sagittarius. <laughs> Divine masculine came out. Having fear. In reverse on the bottom of the deck. Somebody has red hair and somebody has black hair. Somebody does makeup. You might work at a place where you do makeup. Admired is here and healing is here. Somebody didn't do the healing or they are in the process of healing from this. All right, what's connecting you to this person? What's the connecting energy right now, Spirit, in this divine time? And you know that, too. You're aware of that. You're in separation, and you're being admired, okay? Okay. Messages from here, Spirit. It's going to be short and sweet, Sagittarius. True love came out in a spiritual lesson. Somebody's longing, but they're unavailable. All right, Spirit. What else do we need to know here? Somebody has different pages and there's chemistry. Somebody's on different pages and chemistry. Why is different pages here? Somebody wants to go slow but play hard. <laughs> the one of you wants to go slow and the other one wants to play hard. That's the different pages you're on. <laughs> I think you'll be able to work through that with passion on the bottom of the deck. Any other you know, messages for Sagittarius? Anything else you want to say here, Spirit, before we close this? There's going to be balance here. This, this is going to balance out. And there's going to need to be this vulnerable side that needs to open. You're going to have to open up and be honest, okay? That's what I see. And if you don't, you're going to regret it. Or you might regret that you haven't done that already. All right, what might be the outcome of that? There's obstacles. Why are there obstacles to being balanced and vulnerable? Unhealed wounds. Because somebody, somebody, back, somebody decided they wanted to be alone here, but it's protected. Anything else, Spirit? Oh my God, y'all, I can't make this shit up. <laughs> Wow, somebody's in denial about the twin flame leap of faith. <laughs> Somebody don't see that shit coming at all. There's a soulmate here that's in denial about that. They're going to see though. All right, Spirit, let me see what's going on right here. Whoa. No one can see your light until you do. And don't look back. Stay in the present moment. So, yeah, don't look back. Stay in the present moment. Nobody can see your light until you do. Anything else that we, we need to work on here? Heal any issues you have with your father <clears throat> and learn to love. Learn to love being with yourself. Yeah, you have to be able to fill your own cup. Can't have anybody fill it for you. And like a flower, you will blossom, Sagittarius. Where is this cutting at? Get some exercise, and expectations lead to disappointment. So don't have any expectations right now. You just have to let things unfold the way they're going to unfold. All right, let's see what messages we can get. What does Sagittarius need to surrender here? Because I'm sure you have something. What does Sagittarius need to surrender here? You need to get some rest, Sagittarius, and surrender to your creativity. So you're doing something creative. <clears throat> and I feel you. And if you listen to the, the daily messages, there was somebody, or it might have been Aquarius. I don't freaking know anymore. I get everything just kind of blurs. But somebody's overdoing it with work. And I think it might be me. <laughs> I need to take a day off. 
<laughs> All right, and I'm going to take some time off. I'm going to have dinner with a friend. Oh, wow. <laughs> that flew out. Did you see that? Surrender obsessive thinking and just surrender to what is. So for some reason, your thoughts are going wild in your head. Sound like, sounds like me, spirit. <laughs> All right, anything else? Surrender to spirit, surrender the idea you can fix someone, surrender people pleasing, and surrender drama. That also came out in the reading this morning. If you haven't seen that, you might want to watch it. Surrender to the magic of who you are and don't procrastinate. We always get procrastinate. What is wrong with us? How does the universe have our back, spirit? Universe, how do you have our back? Happiness is my birthright. Oneness is my true nature, and I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. Oh, that is so sweet. And thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perception so that I can see what is of the highest good. I know that's right. I know that's right. All right, let's see how the angels have us today, Sagittarius. And then we're going to see what healing we need. Angels, how do you have Sagittarius' back? Joy. I have joy. I have beauty. Unity. Miracles. Again, y'all going to get miracles and freedom. <laughs> you have communication is what you don't see coming. All right, what healing does Sagittarius need today, Spirit? Say what you mean and family and tribe are here. Say what you mean and your family and tribe are here. And you need to love yourself, beautiful. Love yourself. All right. I don't think there's any need to take this any further. I think that it is what it is. And you just need to let it go and let it have some room to breathe. Okay, Sagittarius? Okay. Okay. Let me get you one of these, though. I definitely need a vacation day for sure and it's not good to push yourself too hard because it will cause the health problems one at a time please so the reader can read and interpret the cards thank you spirit beautiful princess savior and rock star <laughs> wow getting rock star a lot lately all right number 12 princess savior says this even if you feel uncertain about facing a challenge, believe in yourself. You are strong enough to conquer this. There will be help if you need it, but you already have the inner resources required to overcome any obstacle and attain the most blessed outcome. If you are in the process of letting go of someone or something, perhaps an old habit, an old way of life, a relationship, or a situation in which you have felt trapped, remember trapped? Don't allow insecurity or uncertainty to stop you. You've got this, and you are doing the right thing and moving on. When you realize that you are strong enough to save yourself, which you are, you never have to be afraid again. As well as inner strength, you have inner wisdom. Deep within, you just know when something or someone is or is not worthy of your time energy and attention and all that fighting that we heard you know that ain't you Sagittarius <laughs> the most precious treasure that you will ever have is the divine gift of yourself there is nothing that is more valuable and no one that is worth loving I'm sorry losing yourself over you don't need permission from anyone other than yourself to decide to walk away from what isn't right for you and to stand your ground and honor your values or say no and refuse to give in to social pressures. You can be open to help and grateful for assistance, but you also know that whenever you need it, you have the inner power to learn or to act, to figure it out, to find love within that will empower you for the life that you deserve. Sacred ritual. Stand comfortably with your feet hit width apart. Feel the connections of your feet to the earth. Oh, my eyes. I've got to have new glasses. Let yourself feel pleasure. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I can't see. 
It's like my eyes get blurry when it's it's time for me to say these things. Let yourself feel pleasantly heavy and grounded. When you are re ready, say this aloud. This is important, and that's why I'm struggling. <clears throat> Help me, please. I am a princess savior, and I choose happiness for myself. I am willing to follow my inner voice. When I don't know what to do, I know what the answer. I know that the answer will come at the right time and in the right way. I trust life and I know deep within that I am get, going to be okay and everything is working out perfectly. I hope you got that Sagittarius because it was pretty important. It was exactly what this reading was about and I'm sorry I'm struggling so hard to see and speak at this moment. All right, then we have Rockstar here. We had that yesterday too, I think, for you and I. Hmm. It says this. You may have a subconscious fear of being judged or being the target of jealousy that causes you to shy away from the limelight. You may mistakenly believe that healing in the spotlight, that being in the spotlight, why did I say healing in the spotlight? Oh, I need help. I mean, nothing's by accident, though. Nothing's by accident. That was meant for me to say. You may mistakenly believe that being in the spotlight means that you're supposed to be perfect or better than everyone else. There is a higher purpose in standing apart from the crowd and being seen. Choose to accept the opportunities that make you more visible to others, trusting that you will shine your truth and integrity to make it a positive and healing experience for yourself and for others too. And I want to read you the rest of this one. There's a light in you that wants and needs to be seen, a side of you that is bold, bright, and unique. Even if it's something different for you, or you aren't sure how comfortable you are going to be on center stage, sometimes there's a higher purpose for you being placed in the spotlight. One purpose can be to develop self-acceptance and self-confidence. Then you can rock your true self without having to tone it down, play it safe, or rein it in. You can become so comfortable in your own skin that you no longer hide your inner divine beauty. Maybe others will then become less afraid to be themselves because you have shown them that being cool is about being cool with who you are, refusing to be stereotyped by people with insufficient imagination. There's power in the freedom of not fitting in. You, rather than someone else, get to decide how you want to live your life, relish it, be creative with it. You are meant to be free to express yourself authentically and to be seen doing it. So claim your inner rock star and strut your soul stuff in this world. Sacred Ritual. Play some music that you can rock around <laughs> to in your lounge room. In the park, on the beach, in your bedroom, in private, in public, however you feel it, let your let yourself express you. <laughs> My eyes are so blurry, damn it. Dance the way you want to dance. Extra points if it's not a music video. <laughs> sing if you want to <laughs> sing if you want. <laughs> That's me right now. I don't care how I sound, do I? Challenge. And love yourself enough to practice being completely you. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius. <laughs> and if you only knew how shy I really am in real life. <laughs> I'm the one that hides in the corner. Alright, who are you talking to, Spirit? I used to be the one that hid in the corner. G-W-T-J-R-Y-F. <coughs> In v G L F B P N. I am exhausted. I do need to take a break. It's time for me to take some, do some self care. K M C G F A D. C B F W R L L. Double emphasis on the L there. M-U-K-H-Y-Q-I. These are different initials than we used to get. 
And if you're new here, welcome. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe. G-X-W-M-R-D-K. All right, I'm going to leave it at that, Sagittarius. If you didn't hear your initials, it doesn't mean you love your reading, okay? You probably have some trinkets for Sagittarius spirit. A marble. <laughs> I haven't had this in ages. It's a little birdie that has a guitar. My rock star birdie. It used to be my jail birdie. Now it's my rock star birdie. I have an elephant. A sister is someone to dream, cry, sing, and laugh with. And they certainly are. I have a snowflake. I can't hold on to these today for some reason. I have a snowflake. I have another elephant. I have a cat. Somebody's cat. Me versus me. A skeleton key, the word love, a heart that says, I love you, I love you, I love you, a starfish, a butterfly, an angel, and a leaf for the fall. Okay. Let's look at this one. Trinkets out of here. Give me trinkets out of here, please. I didn't get very many today. I got two pieces of crystal. I have a key to somebody, something, a cash sign. Oh, I forgot to look at your money. Believe in love. Live your dream. That tramp stamp, the Eiffel Tower, the marijuana leaf or maple leaf, the fancy heart with the flower and a dog tag. Somebody might do military here. And thank you for your service if you do. I'm going to make us wait on the career stuff, Sagittarius, because you're going to get another reading probably tomorrow, you know. <laughs> All right, y'all take it easy, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.